What's up guys, Sahaman back with another review. This is it guys, I think this should be the final seven inch Pennywise the Clown, based off of the 27, 27 it movie that is. Is this the best Pennywise the Clown action figure that we've gotten in seven inch, six inch scale form? Let's find out today, we're taking a look at the Mezco 112 Pennywise the Clown, Mezco Toys. You guys, I've reviewed many of Mezco's figures. Uh, it started with the Dark Knight Returns, and um, I've absolutely loved a lot of what Mezco's done. That Michael Myers figure, as far as horror goes. Uh, Freddy Krueger, which I haven't reviewed, I actually own. I own the Jason one, I haven't reviewed that one either. I own the Dawn of the Dead figures, and Mezco just does an, an amazing job. The only thing that throws me off is their price point. Now, this guy's gonna set you back about $100. Dollars. Now, I don't know if this is going to be worth it or not. We'll find out at the end of the video when we do some comparisons and give you my overall thoughts. So, first off, you get the slip cover here and it says it. You got, you know, dairy in the background. It says 112 there, pose, play, display, Pennywise the Clown. And then again, it reads 112 there. On the side, you have Georgie and Pennywise the Clown. On the back, this is everything that it comes with. So, you get the, let's see, it says you get interchangeable, eight interchangeable hands, including balloon holding hand with balloon affixed to it and 112 collective display base and adjustable posing post. I don't use any of those. We get the lenticular painting of the flute lady, which is awesome because no toy company yet has given us this painting. And I think it plays a big part in the first movie. And we have, well, not a big part, but it's an important part because the character obviously appears in, you know, in little bits and pieces throughout the film. Uh, we get the paper boat, severed arm, and four interchangeable heads. And then right there at the bottom, we have some Pennywise images. You know ways you can display him. This isn't the first Pennywise figure that we've gotten as far as the character himself. I mean, we've got the MDS figures. We got the MDS Deluxe talking, the large plushie. Uh, so they've given us a lot of uh, Pennywise figures, you know, as even a living dead doll. So, but this is the first 112 Pennywise figure that we've got. So you remove the slip cover here and you have the open window that reveals Pennywise in this just black box here. And you have their mascot right there in the back of the packaging. So let's go ahead and take out Pennywise. So this is what I was talking about. I don't normally use the rod or the baggie I actually do use. I use this to place the accessories in, but I never use the rod on the base unless it's for a character that actually, you know, really needs it. But you do get this. Okay, so some of the accessories that Pennywise does come with. He does come with the base, the black circular base with the peg on it, and it reads it. I actually really do like this. Am I gonna use this? Probably not. I guess it depends on where I display Pennywise because this is gonna kinda of take a lot of space, but you do get this cool little circular base. We have various different hands that you can see here. And here is the, the monster hand, you know, where he's transforming, like I think, I'm assuming it was gonna be the werewolf. We never get to see the full transformation. Whoa, that hand just flew off, but you do get a pair of them here. It has that really kinda of like wet look. Um, looks pretty cool. I honestly think NECA probably did a better job in the interchangeable hands as far as the monster hands. And then we also get, you know, just kind of like open hands to go, you know, with Pennywise. So there's uh, some of the hands there. And I think that's about it as far as hands go. You get a severed hand right here because he's obviously, there's a scene where he's eating a, a severed hand. And the arm itself looks looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It's a kind of like a softer material. And then at the bottom, you have the flesh and you can kind of see the bone there. Um, the blood on the lower part of the arm. I want to say NECA's probably did theirs better as far as the detailing goes in like the flesh and the end of it. But the overall hand itself and the arm, I think this one looks pretty good. I think it looks a little more realistic. So you get the arm there. Um, you have the balloon that's fixed to the hand. So you have the balloon here, the string, and then you have his hand right over here. And I hopefully this holds on uh, pretty good as far as the figure goes. It's not too heavy where it's gonna bring the arm down. Can you adjust it? Uh, yeah, you can. I can actually adjust as you can move this around, but you do get this. Does it have a bendy wire? It actually does. It, it feels like it has a bendy wire in there, but I don't wanna bend it, which I actually already did. I kinda want the balloon to be straight. So you get that. One of the cool things is you get the flute lady picture. Now this is awesome because it's lenticular. So there she is. You can kind of see her normal. And then you have her with the teeth open. So this is something that I, this is one of my favorite accessories that came in this set. So this is definitely gonna be displayed. I'm gonna tape it up somewhere behind Pennywise. But look how cool that is, very creepy. And it's actually, I thought it was gonna be like a sheet of paper, but it's, it's like in a mini frame 
which is actually pretty cool. You can see the width of the frame. So I thought it was just gonna be like a, just a, like a, just a piece of paper, but no, they actually framed it for us. So that's pretty cool. This is the accessory that we get, really awesome. Uh, some of the interchangeable heads, we have this one here. I like this, the head sculpt looks great. There is a little bit of weird coloring noticing on the top of the head. Um, I don't know, the, uh, it has like a weird color to it. It almost looks, it almost looks a little yellow, but uh, the hair looks pretty good. The head sculpt looks nice, it's very clean. As far as, you know, the detailing goes, like you, you can see the extra layers of teeth, which look really, really great. The eyes look cool. You can see they're kind of going off of the side as well. But it has this like weird yellowish color to it, but you get this head sculpt here. You also get more of a serious look. This is a great looking head sculpt. But you can see the coloring on top that kind of throws it off. I don't know why it's that color. It's almost like a brownish, yellow, yellowish kind of color. But this looks really good. Look at that head sculpt. It was this one, you can see the teeth to the buck teeth there, through the lips. This one would have looked cool if they gave him the blue eyes. But look at that. Really, really nice. The sculpting on this is fantastic. I absolutely love this head sculpt here. And then we have the open mouth. Whoa. This is where he's about to attack. Uh, I want to say it's about where he's about to attack Eddie. You can actually see inside the mouth. You got the different layers of teeth. So you can see all the layers of the teeth there. Pretty cool. And the eyes are kind of going to the back. Pretty great. It's just that skin tone that they used. I mean, we'll see how it looks on the body, but it's just got this weird coloring to it. But yeah, that's the only thing that's kind of like throwing me off on this is just the coloring. Like that right, the top right there. But um, there's this head sculpt here. And then we'll go ahead and bring out Pennywise the Clown. And then we have this smiley head sculpt. Look how great that looks. Look at that, this is an awesome head sculpt. Again, this color right up here. I mean, if you go close to it, you can see it. If you kind of do it from a distance, it doesn't look that bad. But when you get really close to the figure, you can actually see the weird colors that are on there. Um, but as far as the outfit goes, it's really good. The outfit looks really, really nice. It fits him very well. It's not too baggy. It's not like popping out all over the place. I love how they did a little pom-poms here too. I think this looks really good. It's not too, you know, big, not too like all over the place. And then you have the uh, detailing and the stitching in the arms, little bands there that are red and white. The hands, little ruffles right here on the sleeves. You got the pom-poms. You got the three pom-poms here. You have the bottom part of the upper part. Well, I guess you can see the bottom part of the shirt and the upper part of the pants. And then you have the pants here too, so you can also see the stitching on them. Very, very nice material. You have his shoes, which look to be pretty movie accurate. And then the bottom, he does have peg holes. And then there's a back shot of this. I'm not sure if this opens up or anything. I don't think so. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think that, that opens up back there. Now, as far as your articulation for this Pennywise figure, the arms do go in and out. Very, very smooth too. They go forward and back. He's got a bend at the elbow. Kind of rotate, you can rotate the arm there. The hand can rotate, it's got a hinge as well. Um, he's got rotation at the waist. He's got an ab crunch. The head can rotate, can slightly go up and down. The legs go in and out, very, very good range of motion. Very smooth, forward and back, bend at the knee. Can kind of rotate the leg as well. Uh, let's see, he's got lower leg rotation. The foot can rotate. Does it have a hinge to it? It kind of goes up and down, not a whole lot. So there's not a lot of range of motion um, in the feet, but let's go ahead and interchange the head sculpts. So here we have Pennywise in this head sculpt. Interchanging the head sculpts is very easy, guys. It's very, very smooth, so you don't have to worry about heating anything up. But there is Pennywise in this head sculpt. I actually think it looks really cool. Very creepy. Again, this one would have looked awesome if they gave him the blue eyes. But I'll show you guys on camera how to pop the heads. Very simple, you can see that there. And then we'll go ahead and put on the smiling head sculpt. You have this one right there. This one actually looks really good on the outfit. So you have this one, which looks cool. Pop that sucker off and then we'll put this head sculpt here. This is the version where he's in a head sculpt where he's an attack Eddie. That's pretty cool. But honestly, I would say it's between this head sculpt here or this one here that I would love to uh, display my Pennywise figure with. And right here we have Pennywise holding on to the balloon and honestly, it, I just gotta straighten the string out a little bit, the little bendy wire, but he's holding on to this very well. It's not, it's not too top heavy. It's not gonna lean the figure, you know, going like make him go forward or anything, or it's not 
gonna bring the arm down. At least I don't think in time it will, but he is actually holding onto this very, very well. All right, so right here, you are looking at a bit of a comparisons. On the left, we have the Medicom Pennywise. And the more I actually look at this one, the less, um, I'm not gonna say the less I like it because I do like this figure a lot, but it's it's starting to become my least favorite out of all of the Pennywise uh, scale, six inch scale figures or seven inch scale figures. And then on the right, we have the first release of the ultimate Pennywise by NECA Toys. And you can see the comparison right here. Uh, the NECA one obviously towers over Pennywise. I have the Medicom one kind of bent at the knees right now because of the um, having trouble to get him to stand, but he seems to be about the same size as the Mezco Pennywise. And then right here in the middle right there, we have the NECA. This is the retro style cloth figure. And I want to say, I absolutely love that figure a lot. It's a lot larger in scale. The head sculpts on it are very beautiful. That's a $50 figure. The Mezco one is $100. The Medicom one also runs about $100. And the NECA ones are about, what, $25 to $30. So, I mean, if you wanted a cloth Mezco figure or a cloth Pennywise figure and you, you want to spend under $100, then the NECA one is your best bet. But if you want to spend the extra cash, then the NECA one, or I'm sorry, the Mezco one is probably going to be the better choice. Now, you can see the differences in the color now that I have all of these side by side. The Mezco one has like a yellowish paint job to it, like a paint finish. It looks a little off compared to the NECA one, the Medicom one. They can see they didn't do the outfit. I don't think they did the outfit coloring that movie accurate i don't think it was that brown or that yellowish it is a little bit off in the color so i'm not too sure exactly why they did that i'm kind of i'm kind of bummed because from the promo images we saw it did look a little bit different from what i remember but and i, I honestly thought mezco was going to take the win for this i mean don't get me wrong i absolutely love the sculpt i love the outfit and i love the head sculpts the only problem i think with these NECA, or i'm sorry with the mezco figure is the paint applications. The paint applications on it are is very off. At least I think so. I mean, what do you guys think down below? Is the paint off? But let me know which one is the better out of the four. Let me know your thoughts. I really wanna know your thoughts on this. All right, so I wanted to do some of the comparisons with the head sculpts. So here we have, um, actually this one's not gonna be compared, but we have these two here, which are pretty much going to be compared to the, these are both NECA by the way. So we have, I guess you can put this one in there, even though it's not really similar. And then we have this one here, which is supposed to be the uh, same style of head sculpt. And you know what? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I think NECA still did a better job, but there's a little bit of a comparison with these head sculpts here. The smiling one, which is this one right here, which I have on my NECA figure, we have this one here. Now, I got to give it to to uh, Mezco for this for this head sculpt. It looks a lot better, especially the teeth and the paint apps. Um, well, not really the paint apps because it does look a little yellow, but the overall look, the sculpting on it, I got to give it to Mezco. They didn't even add a lot of the cracks on the forehead either, but uh, there's these head sculpt comparisons. Now, as far as the arms go, can't really do a whole lot of comparison on these because this is Georgie's arm, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be some other child's arm but you can kind of see the hands there. Actually, you know what? I, I got to give it to NECA on that one too. NECA actually did a better job on the arms as well. Let's go ahead and compare the monster hands, okay? So where do I have that located? Okay, so we have this Pennywise right here. I have this one. This is the NECA one. He's displayed. I have him displayed with the monster hands. I have the monster hands here. And then we have Mezco's kind of monster monster hands there and um i want to say the i don't know which one's more movie accurate i forgot how it looks like in the film but there's a little bit of a comparison i want to say the neca one might be a little more accurate i do like the mezco one though but there's a comparison with the hands there the fingernails are painted kind of a yellow color on the neca one and then we have the boat so the neca one this is the the neca one here and then we have the Mezco one, which is obviously a lot smaller and it's more white, but there is a little bit of a comparison there with um, some of the, some of the, some of the accessories. So hopefully this helps you guys. You know, guys, one thing I forgot to show off was Georgie's boat. That was one accessory I forgot to show. 
but here it is you have Georgie's SS Minnow so you have the SS George SS Minnow the SS Georgie um, is this soft rubber yeah it's a soft rubber material there it's nothing you know too crazy but I mean we we've gotten a lot of these from NECA and from other toy companies but there is the bow it's nothing again it's nothing special nothing too crazy but you do get that accessory and um, yeah that's pretty much my review on this Pennywise figure you guys in the comments below let me know is it a pickup is it a pass is it worth the price point under a hundred dollars after all my overall thoughts on this like I said the sculpting is great the outfit is great the accessories are great it's just the paint apps on this are off the head sculpts they got some crazy paint you know you know paint applications on them and you probably can't see it on the camera because of all the lights but there is a yellowish color two of them you can kind of see it on the forehead the outfit on pennywise just looks a little bit too brown almost yellowish uh, but i think the sculpting on the heads are great they're fantastic they look awesome this is a great head sculpt as well uh, you can see that right there i think you know for the hundred dollar i mean plus we get the um the cool frame and then the, all the interchangeable hands and the base and whatnot but honestly for a hundred dollars i think what this should have included uh maybe a head sculpt with the deadlights with a light up feature they should have included a head sculpt like that, and they should have included the Flute Lady head sculpt, at least. I mean, I still don't think that would have been worth a hundred dollar price point, but it's it, you know, it would have been a little bit better if they included a little bit more accessories, especially because I think they failed on the paint apps. Um, overall, this could have been a fantastic figure if they just got the paint apps right. But I really want to know what you guys think about this. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Which is the best Pennywise 7-inch scale figure? Or I mean, it, even though the retro style Pennywise figure is not 7-inch, but you know, you guys know what I mean. In this style, this action figure style, what is the best Pennywise figure? Let me know in the comments below. I, I got to say, as far as the 2017 one goes, I got to give it to NECA. I have to give it to NECA. This one... This one probably would have taken the cake if it got the paint apps right. I love this figure. I think it looks fantastic. It's just the paint apps are wrong. So I got to give it to NECA for owning the 2017 IT franchise as far as the action figures go in this scale. Let me know your thoughts below, guys. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? We'll see you soon for more reviews. Hope you enjoyed this. Later. Awesome. Let's see. Ah.